everybody, I'm Clever Dingbat. Welcome back to my channel for another Genshin Impact video. Today, we're gonna continue the series of to pull or not to pull with Xin Yan. Xin Yan is the new Pyro Claymore user. She primarily uses physical damage and Pyro to both shield her team and help them deal as much damage as possible. Let's go ahead and take a look at her talents. Talent number one, normal attack, dance of fire. Perform up to four consecutive strikes on the normal attack. On a charged attack, this drains stamina over time to perform continuous spinning attacks against all nearby enemies. At end of the sequence, perform a more powerful slash. She also has a plunging attack, plunges from midair to strike the ground below, damaging enemies along the path and dealing AOE damage upon impact. Moving on to talent number two, Sweeping Fervor. Shin Yan brandishes her instrument, dealing pyro damage on nearby enemies, forming a shield made out of her audience's passion. The shield's damage absorption scales based on Shin Yan's defense and the number of enemies hit. Hitting zero to one enemies grants shield level one ad lib. Hitting two enemies grants shield level two lead in. Hitting three or more enemies grants shield level three rave which will also deal intermittent pyro damage to nearby enemies. The shield has the following special priorities. When unleashed, it infuses Shin Yan with pyro. It has 250% damage absorption, effectiveness against pyro damage. Shin Yan's third talent, Rift Revolution. Strumming rapidly, Shin Yan launches nearby enemies and deals physical damage to them. Hyping up the crowd, the sheer intensity of the atmosphere will cause explosions, that deal pyro damage to nearby enemies. And now taking a look at Shin Yan's passive talents, the first one here is called the show goes on even without an audience. This decreases the number of enemies sweeping fervor must hit to trigger each level of shielding. Shield level two lead in requirement re is reduced to one enemy hit. Shield level three rave that requirement is reduced to two enemies or more. Shin Yan's second passive talent, now that's rock and roll. Characters shielded by sweeping fervor deal 15% increased physical damage. This is gonna be an amazing combo with your physical damage carries, such as Razor. And passive talent number three, a rad recipe. When a perfect cooking is achieved on defense boosting dishes, Shin Yan has a 12% chance to obtain double the product. This is actually amazing because it's, you know, you're, you're, you're spending one and you're getting two. And now moving on to Shin Yan's constellation, her first constellation is called Fatal Acceleration. Upon scoring a critical hit, this increases attack speed of Shin Yan's normal and charged attacks by 12% for five seconds. This can only occur once every five seconds. Shin Yan's second constellation, Impromptu Opening, Rift Revolution's physical damage has its crit rate increased by 100%, and will form a shield at shield level three rave when cast. So this is gonna make her shield much more powerful. Uh, it's gonna increase the crit rate 100% on physical damage. It's actually pretty good. Shin Yan's third constellation, Double Stop. This increases the level of sweeping fervor by three. Maximum upgrade level four sweeping fervor is now 15. Shin Yan's fourth constellation, Wildfire Rhythm. Sweeping fervor's swing damage decreases opponent's physical resistance by 15% for 12 seconds. This is insane for physical damage dealers. Shin Yan's fifth constellation, Screaming for an Encore, increases the level of Rift Revolution by three to a maximum upgrade level of 15. And finally, Shin Yan's sixth constellation, Rockin' in the Flamin' World, decreases the stamina consumption of Shin Yan's charged attacks by 30%. Additionally, Shin Yan's charged attacks gain an attack bonus equal to 50% of her defense. So if you were planning on using her as a main DPS, I would say you could try and go for, you know, the constellation six on her. It's gonna make her pretty strong, but otherwise she seems more supportive. Well, guys, that is it for this episode of To Pull or Not To Pull. What'd you think of Shin Yan? 
leave it down in the comments below personally i like her a lot i think she's awesome she is definitely my new waifu she's cute as a button and uh i cannot wait to uh you know play with her in game more get her leveled up and get her geared out for my razor team i think she's really going to help him out with the physical damage that he is capable of doing uh we're definitely going to be doing some testing with her she looks like a really cool unit and uh, i just i just can't wait to get her leveled up so that she can help with razor's effectiveness on the battlefield thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, again my name is clever dingbat i stream on twitch every monday wednesday and friday I uh, would love to see you over there in Twitch chat. Be sure to check out the Discord link in the description down below. That'll take you to the Clever Dingbat Discord. We would love to chat with you there as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, be excellent to each other. Peace.